Hi, my name is Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about how a catch can is an important part of your build. As your engine increases power, there becomes more pressure on the top side of the piston. Inherently, there's also pressure getting past the piston into the crankcase. In a perfect world, no combustion would make it past the top ring down into the crankcase under the pistons. As power increases and the engine has to work harder, the cylinder bore, the piston, and the rings can take on a dynamic shape, flexing and allowing the engine to have some blow-by. So in the quest to make more horsepower, you're increasing pressure on the top of the piston while trying to minimize the amount of pressure on the bottom side of the piston. Throughout the combustion process, a certain amount of air is going to make it past the top ring. Then it's going to leak past the second ring into the crankcase. The issue is, as the crankcase pressure increases, then the ring can't evacuate the air that's leaked past it and gets trapped in between the two rings, causing the rings to flutter or lose seal. Any pressure in the crankcase is directly working against your engine's ability to make power. There are several ways to combat the crankcase pressure problem. You can use a dry sump oiling system, which will be vacuuming the, the crankcase out during its scavenge cycle. You can use a scavenging exhaust tube, which will create a venturi and help the exhaust gas leaving the engine pull the crankcase pressure out of the crankcase. However, you can't use those with a muffler, so it's not really good for streetcar guys. You can use a vacuum pump, and that will suck the crankcase pressure out of the crankcase and dump it into a can. Or the most common way, which is just using a simple catch can. It's normal when venting the crankcase to get some oil residue or blow by leaving the engine, so you don't want it just going into your engine compartment or onto the ground. So when you're using the catch can, that oil residue or vapor will collect in the can, and then the can can vent uh, just the air out into the atmosphere. This is a catch can that we have made for us that has the features that you're gonna look for in a can. The breather on top allows the air to exit the catch can while the body of the catch can acts as a reservoir to collect the residue. Some vehicles are gonna pass more oil residue than others. This can has a drain on the bottom of it so you can drain the can without removing it from the vehicle. The can is internally baffled, so the oil that leaves the crankcase or valve cover bounces off the baffle, falls to the bottom, leaving the air to evacuate through the filter. It's also worth noting that these are dash 10 lines. I wouldn't use anything smaller than that. If you can go bigger, great. But when you use a very small line, it doesn't allow the air to pass the oil as it's leaving the engine, and you can actually collect more oil leaving the engine with small lines than you would a larger line. While it may be an easy part to overlook during your build, every engine is gonna deal with some crankcase pressure or blow by. When it comes time, don't forget the catch can. Thanks and have a good week.